Shri Guru Bhyan Namaha Hi viewers, welcome to the introduction video on ALP system of astrology. This would be a series of episodes where we will be covering most of the concepts and lessons that is involved in ALP astrology system. Henceforth, I would request all the viewers to stay tuned with us in order to get the latest updates and lessons that is involved in ALP system of astrology. And I would also request our viewers to download the ALP application app which is readily available in the play store in order to check your ALP points and also to improve your astrological practices and skills. Before getting into the concept of ALP astrology, I would like to quote two quotes which passively enacted as a foundation principle in the design of this system. First one is, according to Acharya Varahamira, one of the profound astrologer and astronomer of our country, in one of his notable literature pieces says that trade, tradition and technology should always be revised and updated based on the needs from generations to generation. The second is, as we all know that the universe, the nature and the humans ourselves are in a constant change with respect to time. The universe is in a state of expansion, the nature is growing according to the seasons and we humans grow according to the age. These two principles, one being the updation in the current practice and the second being the constant changes that is occurring with respect to time, strongly seeded in the mindset of a person called Yes Padudai Murthy. Yes Padudai Murthy is the inventor of this ALP system. Academically, he is a PhD scholar and holds a master degree in the field of astrology. He origins from a village called Vedaranyam in the town Nagapattinam from the state of Tamil Nadu. The inventor has spent nearly two decades of his life in the field of astrology in order to design this concept for the betterment of humans. Astrologer Padudai Murthy has designed this system very canonical to the Vedic system of astrology by obeying all the rules and conditions involved in a traditional astrological system. He also tells that ALP acts as a master tool in unwinding the most complicated knots in the horoscope when the horoscope is looked in the approach of ALP astrology. Hence, ALP astrology is a very unique system in the field of astrology compared to all other astrological practices. ALP is abbreviated as Akshaya Lagna Paddhati, where the Akshaya means constant growth, Lagna is the point where life begins and Paddhati is the system which defines the constant growth of life with respect to time. The inventor strongly believes that the horoscopes too grow with us as we grow according to our age, opening the doors for the new set of karmic influences where a human will undergo for every 10 years of time period. Mathematically looking, the concept of growth through ALP system which says when 120 years of Vimshottari Dasha gets divided by 12 bhavas, the, the remainder what we get is the exact amount of time period in years where a birth lagna takes to shift from one bhava to another bhava, completely changing the karmic impact on the nettle for every 10 years of time. ALP astrology mainly operates on three karmas, that is maternal, paternal and the self karma of nettle. The bhavas 1, 4, 7, 10 will indicate the karmas that is being imbibed from the maternal side that is mother and the bhavas 3, 6, 9, 12 indicates the karmas that is being imbibed from the father and the bhavas 2, 5, 8, 11 indicates the karma which is being accumulated by the natal itself through his previous birth. On the other hand, looking this concept in the view of ALP astrology which says when the ALP point travels in the bhava 1, 4, 7, 10 indicates that the natal will undergo the karmic influence and experience which is being accumulated from his mother's genes. Whereas when the ALP point travels in the bhavas 3, 6, 9, 12 indicates that the natal will undergo the karmic impact and experience which is being accumulated through the father's genes and the ALP point when it travels through the bhavas 2, 5, 8, 11 indicates that the natal he himself will undergo the 
karmic influences which is being accumulated through his previous birth looking all these concept in the an alp system approach tells that the past present and future karmic influences on the natal alp astrology has many subset involved in it like akshaya rashi alp nakshatra akshaya bhava alp past life analysis and alp impact over transit etc which will all be covered in the upcoming training videos until then stay safe stay tuned keep practicing alp astrology and also keep following alp astrology signing out with love and affection this is rupesh alp astrology practitioner and a research pupil from the inventor team thank you sarvam shivam